sprints. Ten tries, I mean, 11 tries. I've, I've uh, done him an injustice. Joint top scorer in the tournament and a terrific threat, isn't he? He is good vision here by Adebayo, though. Slips on the ball and he's away on the outside. And uh, took a bit of a risk coming around under the post, but when we've got that kind of pace, I suppose I've never had the choice, really. Um, but uh, another brilliant try for me. Mm. Well, there we are then, England 14 to 1 at the start of the World Cup through to the final. Let's just see who's going to join them. Will it be Ireland or the World 15 aside champions, the Australians, Campesi and all? Commentators Nigel Carr and Bob Simmons. Australia with the team that got them to the semi with the victory of England. John Flett, the winner, again left it. Ireland head back to their first choice lineup, bringing back Jonathan Garth, Alan Rolland, and Richard Wallace. Our referee, Mr. Ray Mexon from Scotland. Michael Liner then waiting to get this game underway. A repeat to the quarter final in the Hong Kong Sevens when Ireland were only knocked out in extra time. Matt Burke, Liner, Constable, Campesi outside him. Goes on his own, Billy Cunningham back for the tackle. That's a great tackle. Liner just held up, Campesi again. Jim Fenwick, testing moments these for the Irish Seven. The ball's still alive, no, the referee's whistle has gone. Relief for Ireland, Nigel. What a start, what a start. Uh, Australia looking very, very sharp. They've been transformed from the first day when really they looked a mediocre side. Eric Elwood. Takes it quickly, goes to ground, now needs the support. Untidy play, though. And again, Ray Mexon whistles a halt. This will be a scrum to Australia. Matt Burke took a bang there. So, time for everybody to cool down, I think, Nigel. Yes, uh, unfortunately, Aaron, they got a penalty early on there, and uh, Eric Elwood decided to go up the touchline himself. It's really going to be vital that Ireland get the possession, keep hold of possession. That's when they've really looked best in their previous games. Matt Burke's a very influential figure for the Australians. When he's playing well, when Campisi's doing well, then Australian are really looking like a world-class side. Ireland now must try and regain possession. OK, ready again to restart. Top half eh? penalised there, so a chance for Ireland to bring this away and at last maybe get into the Australian territory. Big Paddy Johns stands up well in the tackle. Jonathan Goff, long pass out. Eric Elwood to Dummy, now needs support. Once again it's Garth there. Vinnie Cunningham too, Paddy Johns. Roland, out to Wallace. Trying to outsprint David Campese. Yes, Richard Wallace is going to get there. What a tremendous start then to this second semi-final for the Irish as they try to follow England into the final of the World Cup Sevens. Richard Wallace looks so much more calm and composed than I am. It was lovely play, Eric Elwood again doing the dummy, breaking back inside, support from Jonathan Garth, Vinnie Cunningham coming into play. We haven't seen as much as him and really Ireland need to get him involved in the movement. But Richard Wallace is the man who's come through. He pushes the ball behind Campisi. Now, Campisi really has played well in the last two days, but he's not the fastest man on the pitch. Richard Wallace controlled the ball well and got the touchdown. Eric Elwood with the conversion right down the middle. So, tremendous start then. Ireland lead by seven points to nil. What will Campisi do now, I wonder? Well, really, just to be in this semi-final is just incredible, isn't it, uh, Nigel, in the first place? But to get to the final, my word. But Ireland, they haven't been playing international sevens for 20 years. They weren't expected to even get through the group. Paddy Johns on the break. Has support from Jonathan Garth. Campesi comes over. Trying to slip the ball into Alain Roland. Dennis McBride is there. It's been knocked on, though. And referee Ray Maxson calls a halt. Tremendous excitement here at Murrayfield. It may be a wet, rainy day, but everybody absolutely on the edge of their seats in this second semi-final. Tapo away then, Liner brings in Campesi. That's the challenge of McBride. It's a loose pass, though. 
Nice pickup. 